Square Enix's Marvel's Avengers by Crystal Dynamics exists. <sighs> hey, hey, Marvel's Avengers exists. And nobody cares. Want proof? Observe. People are listening to Kyle. Hi, how you doing? I got a birthday coming up. Subscribe. What more proof do you need? If this game were half as relevant or even as good as a Marvel game should be, there'd be so many people talking about and playing it that you'd never have found a channel like this. But you did. And to the newly subbed former Defenders, congratulations on finding me. I'm sorry that it may have taken shills deliberately ignoring and excusing problems persisting for six months to bring you here, but I guess getting butt hurt and acting like the problems will just go away if you ignore them didn't work out. 700 likes and I'll make another Marvel Avengers video. Thank you for the 500 on that last one. As promised, ah oh shit, here we go again. Look at us. Shocked at the reveal of Hawkeye, a character with one good ability, and they copied and pasted it a second time onto one of the three heroics for an already underwhelming archer, just to ice the cake of him being the one that doesn't teleport or create portals. Damn, Crystal Dynamics. You kiss your mother with these asset flips? We keep thinking you just can't get any lower. You've already hit bedrock. And then... You just pull out a, a better quality pickaxe. Better than diamond? Wait a minute. Forged from Orticalcum, the pickaxe has no equal. The dwarves themselves stand in awe in the glimmering beauty of the- Come on. Remember six months ago when you showed Hawkeye for the first time? And then you waited three months and dropped a girl archer? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> Remember when you announced Hawkeye a month before you intended to release him on the very day of Black Panther's three-year movie anniversary, but chose not to show anything about him? Kyle remembers. So, in unison, of course any fan still somehow interested in this dumpster fire thinks to themselves, damn, if people don't care now, how much less they gonna care in a month? And there it is. They were probably wondering why there wasn't a reveal and it becomes obvious now. If you did have something to show about Black Panther, you're going to wait till launch to try to resuscitate the corpse that is this game. Viewers, I'm asking you right now. Answer in the comment section. Don't you think this game needed at least three more heroes before they attempted a next gen launch? Since the game's in love with clone characters, a War Machine, She-Hulk, Bucky, would have been pretty easy to just softball into the game so that it could at least appear to separate itself from the very underwhelming launch that was this game in an attempt to rebrand. But it's so, so much worse. The game's biggest problem isn't just the lack of variety in modes, the lack of attractive skins, or even the lack of worthwhile loot to collect. It's what you've heard me articulate dozens of times. Two villains, one enemy type, zero Marvel locations. When this game launched, Destiny had better than that six years ago, and even that was attacked for having not enough content. Are you for real with this game? This combined with the lack of variety in modes was the kiss of death for this game. Bugs, glitches, ugliness aside, it most certainly would have been able to get away with these generic ass non-Marvel locations if it had a little bit of variety and things that you could actually do. As you've heard me explain dozens of times, I believe the harm room could easily have been made to look like other rooms, have different types of villains, even if they weren't officially introduced into the game, but y'all lazy to fuck out on that one too. Two villains, one enemy type, and zero modes? Effortlessly, these are three infinity stones in the gauntlet that's keeping people from giving a hot shit about this game, not just now, but ever. And what are the other three? Trash loot in your looter. No updates or communication in your live service. And last, and certainly not least, a terrible, unappealing shop with uninspired skins that guarantee this game cannot be profitable. Shh, 
We are not supposed to talk about these facts. They make people angry, call us trash. But much like an anime where the smoke clears and nothing happened, the facts still remain. Wow! The few game types that actually allow you to get high-end gear in this game are modes that you can only play solo, because multiplayer is not allowed. And if that wasn't enough, the game can't even handle people teaming up in any lengthy capacity, a problem that the developers themselves have acknowledged and claim are one of the biggest problems, stopping real endgame modes from being added. So you remember cloning labs that they mentioned months ago? You remember Omega level threats? They still ain't in, and who knows when they come? Coming. One of them they're planning to only have available on the weekend. That's what this game needs. More restrictions on content. It's genius. Honey, honey, the game, it's roasting itself. <laughs> Listen, I'd love to be positive, but the only good thing is the combat. And with every update, Crystal Dynamics seems to take baffling steps in the wrong direction, removing battery effects on heroes, disabling perks on gear people spent a considerable amount of time to build, and locking challenge modes, which actually are necessary and make it impossible for some people to get achievements. Because when they fulfill the required obligations for many of these achievements, it still wouldn't pop because bugs, but none of these bugs exist. If you shill hard enough, shill with all your might, fuck boys. You can call me a hater every day if it makes you feel good, but it won't make it true. You wanna know how it's easy to tell that I had interest in this game? Because it actually hurt to see how pathetic a display that shallow dive was for Hawkeye. It was physically taxing watching Crystal Dynamics hurt itself in confusion once again by ignoring the loudly articulated issues that the community has overwhelmingly agreed on and made blatantly apparent and then ironically ending by saying, we hear all of your feedback. But some people have big dipey problems with the insinuation that change should come faster than six months. Be patient even though you paid money for something that doesn't work. According to them, you should just pay and accept whatever you get. Otherwise, you're entitled. <laughs> no, no feedback, no criticism. Man, why aren't we all rich? Oh, wait, because things are more complex in reality than in the half-baked dum-dum land that some of these idiots are dreaming up that they wouldn't even want to live in, let's be real. It's about as brilliant and self-aware as a why I'm leaving the fandom post. Are you watching WandaVision? No spoilers, but Jesus, man. Episode seven. I was talking in the Discord about someone last week, and it was everything to see them realized in the MCU because they're embracing Marvel. Marvel is weird. Marvel is strange. Marvel is dark. And defenders will say, this isn't the MCU, it's its own video game. Not everything has to be like the MCU. What you mean popular? You mean successful? You mean faithful in their adaptation, like interesting. <laughs> Capable of stimulating genuine excitement out of more than a couple of people. You know what it is that Marvel's Avengers isn't? Fun. <laughs> Not just the show. But the discussion surrounding it, man, the dialogue, the roller coaster of all these fan theories of what might be adapted from the comics. And I could talk forever and not ramble when it comes to Marvel because I'm passionate about it. It's not about views or money. It's about the stories and the experiences that I would like to share because they meant something to me and they are worthy of communicating. But. Crystal Dynamics Marvel's Avengers is none of these things. It takes what effortlessly worked in the comics and it distorts it beyond recognition to the point where people wouldn't take it for free. Video game pirates online could play this game for free and wouldn't even want to download it. That's Marvel's Avengers. And I have outlined exactly why. We're still in phase zero of where this game would need to be to be successful. And I'm shocked because I thought this would at the very least sort itself out to where it should have been at launch before they attempted a next gen release. But they really just trying to hawk this motherfucker out to get some money. And it's sad to see 
If you believed in this game, this isn't good. Crystal Dynamics could have neutralized at least one of these stones in an effort to make this game less of a disgrace. They've given themselves no time towards their next gen release, and even if they think they're sitting on a build of the game that's dope and awesome and has all of these new things, the fact that they haven't rolled it out yet means that when they do, they're gonna get slapped in the face with so many more bugs that it might as well be the launch all over again, my dude. Thank you for watching, because it must be refreshing to hear somebody speak some actual sense on this game, and I promise you, I'ma be here for every step of this journey. Cause you know somebody's wrong when they immediately give up on the discussion and just start calling names. Oh my God. How did these people get so far from the sandbox? You know, is someone watching their pail and shovel? Love ya, later.